Okay, as you can see on the computer, the recording uh, screen is still blank. And the reason why that is, is because my PlayStation is on HDMI and you need to change it to a component. And I'm going to show you how to change it to component. I know most people know how to do this, but I'm just going to show those who don't. So the first thing you need to do is just move over to the left and go over to settings. Then go all the way down to display settings. And then go into the display settings and it should say video output settings. Go into that. And then it'll say HDMI component is right underneath it. So go down to component. Select that. And lastly do you want to change the component. So you press X on change. And then you have um, 30 seconds to confirm that change on the component channel. So I'm just going to get my TV remote. And then as you can see on my TV the component cable is highlighted which means that there is signal going through. So now I have 10 seconds to confirm this. So go over to yes. And now I have to choose the resolutions. So um, I have um, 576p, 720p and then 1080i. Those are the, you need to select the first three. Do not select 1080p because the hot pack is not compatible with 1080p. So just move on to the next. And it's all going to change now. And then click yes again. Now it will ask you about the audio settings, so you go into audio settings and then go down to audio input connector SCART AV multi and then press X and everything is ready. So if we have a look at my computer you can see that the PlayStation is now appearing on the recording screen. So there is a bit of a lag but it's only like one second and it's not as if I'm going to be using the computer to play my games so that doesn't really matter to me so I'll just show you as you can see when I move on the PlayStation it's like one second late on the computer but that doesn't matter well that's everything up and running um, thanks for watching please comment rate and subscribe